Maybe 20 years from now, we're going to have a celebration of a Staten Island team winning the Little League World Series. And Joe Calabrese is their head coach, and we'll have him on in 20 years, God willing. And uh, he joins us now. Coach, how you doing? Michael Kay and Peter Rosenberg. Hello. Hello, Joe. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Not bad. Not bad. Doing pretty good. What's this whole experience felt like, Coach? Good. It's been a great experience for uh, for my kids. I mean, they're really enjoying it. Uh, they put a lot of work to get into to get to this point, and um, you know, hard work it pays off, and then they're learning that, which is great for them as they get older and uh, become young men and, and adults at some point. I've always thought this, Coach, and I'm glad that we could have you on and ask you this. I mean, this is big time sports now. I mean, you're, they're on TV every day, and these are these are kids. These are not adults. How do you keep it at a level that it doesn't overwhelm them? It's it's extremely difficult when you walk on that field and you see there's fifteen, ten, fifteen thousand people sitting in the stands. You know, they they get the jitters a little bit. You know, and uh, we spoke before. We've been speaking all week about it. And before the game, I brought them out there and I told them, take a look now, guys, because once the game starts, it doesn't matter. You know, we're back home at Mid-Island, we're playing in the schoolyard. It's all the same, you know. So uh, we try to keep them grounded and keep them focused on the task at hand. They do a pretty good job at that. They're pretty focused. They, they, you know, they're determined and uh, they have goals. They got goals they set. They want to win the Little League World Series, and they're pretty focused for a, for a young group of kids. As a player, did you? What was the what level did you make it to as a player, Coach? I played high school baseball. Um, that, that's as far as I went. Uh, my brother-in-law coaches with the Marlins, Frank Benikino, and my son actually plays in the Giants organization now. Oh, wow. So it's in the blood, but it still must be interesting when you're trying to get these kids to, to buckle down and be able to handle a high-pressure situation that I'm guessing for you sometimes, I don't know if I were you, I'd look out and be like, I'm glad it's these kids going up to bat and not me. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, some of these kids throw a mid-70s, which is like 95, 96. You know, it, it is a lot of pressure, and, um, you know, they, they respond well. They do a great job, these boys. They they work hard all year. Even in the offseason, they're training, you know, speed and agility, getting bigger, getting stronger, getting faster. We've been working on this for, for three years. When they started as 10-year-olds and All-Stars, the talk was always about, you know, getting to Williamsport when we're 12. We're working now to get there when we're 12. And it's been a long journey, and, and you know, they did it. They're here now. And, but we're not satisfied. You know, we want to keep moving on and, and, you know, try to get that last banner. Tell me about Greg Bruno. The kid pitched a perfect game in the game that got you into the Little League World Series. He, he, he won yesterday where you guys beat the team from Des Moines, Iowa, to, to play in the second round on Sunday. This kid doesn't seem like he gets nervous. He, I got to tell you, I mean, he was a little rattled yesterday, you know. And he wasn't himself yesterday. Um, but... You know, he didn't have his best stuff, but he battled through it, and that, that's what makes a, a good pitcher a great pitcher. He competed, and, uh, you know, he got through it for us. But he's, he's just a tremendous kid, tremendous competitor. He wants the ball in the big spot. You know, I kind of I brought him in there in a spot. He really didn't get a chance to, to throw and get loose, you know, on the side before. But, um, you know, he stepped up, and he did what he always does for us. You know, he, he takes control of the game. Is it is it a particular point of pride to see people rally around Staten Island? Because I'll be honest, Coach, you know, I'm, I'm in the hip-hop scene also, and I always have a going joke whenever I'm hosting a show that unless it's a Wu-Tang concert, no one from Staten Island's there. And it's, it can be the forgotten borough in New York. Is It must be nice to feel New York rally around Staten Island for this team. Yeah, it's a great feeling. I mean, you know, when you have the whole city, from what I hear, I mean, we haven't been home in two weeks, so... Uh, you know, it's only what we're hearing and what we're seeing and all the calls and the texts I'm getting. But it's great to have the whole city behind you now. And, I mean, each game we win, I'm sure there's more people jumping on and getting behind us, you know, and pushing us to the finish line. So now, it is a great feeling, and uh, it's good stuff. Joe Calabrese is our guest. He's coaching the Staten Island Little League team that has already won one game uh, in the Little League World Series. Th there's a personal aspect to you with this as well, Coach. You're coaching your nephew. John Jr. Calabrese and your brother John passed away in 2014 and from what I, I've heard you wanted to get out of the league coaching before he passed away and when he passed away you said you know what it kind of energized you and you wanted to coach your nephew yeah I, I was coaching for about 15 years and and that last group of kids I had you know my kids have been out for like eight years at that point seven eight years so but I stuck around because you, you know you get attached to the kids and um it, it really is rewarding when you see these kids develop and and grow as, as players and as individuals. So, But I was getting to the end of the rope, and then uh, in November of 14, my brother passed away suddenly. 
and my nephew was eight at the time. I uh, just turned nine, so um, you know, at that point, it immediately became my responsibility to take care of my nephew and my nieces. So um, you know, I stuck on board, and and here we are, four years later, and uh, mm -hmm. good things are happening. And I believe that he's with us, and uh, he's behind us on this whole mission that we have. And Joe, from what I heard, John Jr. has his dad's picture inside his hat every single game. That must mean the world to you. Yeah, he carries he carries the mask card with him. Uh, it's always in his hat, you know. And um, he's behind he's behind them, and you know he thinks about them all the time. And it's extremely uh, difficult for the family, but I mean, it's times like this that that really uh, make it make it a little easier, I think, because you know we know he's with us. And he'd be really proud of how great his son's doing. And he's, he's come up in some clutch situations, had some big plays, and uh, had some big hits. And it's, it's really, really been great for him and uh, for the whole family. All right, so your next game is Sunday. Uh, it's the winner of New England versus the Southwest Regional. Do you know anything about these teams before you face them, Coach? Uh, I watched them yesterday. Texas won the game. Uh, they're a good team. Uh, they're scrappy. They're good defensively. They swing it pretty good, and, and they got good pitching. They're, they're very, very similar to us. So, uh, you know, it should be a good game. Uh, we got our guy in the mound. I think my guy's the best out there, so uh, I'm confident that we're going to get the job done. Who's the kid that's pitching on Sunday? Let's give him some love. Uh, Gregory Bruno. He's our guy. Oh, there you go. Great stuff. I mean, everybody here at the station is rooting for you. And as you said, the entire city rallies around you and we want to see you come back as champions. And what you've done so far is just amazing. And I happen to love Frank Menachino. I think he's an awesome guy. So I didn't even know you guys were related. So say hello to him and uh, just have a good time with the kids. We appreciate what you're doing, Coach. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks for the call. And uh, we're going to do our best. And, you know, I'm really confident that we're going to get it done.